Hey, Schneider here. So my dad used to have this great story he would tell. Um, now that I look back at it, it's kind of a parable. About a guy who was um, stuck on the side of the road late at night. He had a flat tire. And he realized he didn't have a jack. So he looked down the road and he saw way down the road, oh, he saw a, uh, a light on on a porch in a farmhouse. So he thought, well, I think I'll go and see if the farmer has a jack. So he starts walking down the street, and it's about a mile away. And he thinks, I'll bet he had a big dinner tonight, and he went to bed early. He's probably in bed with his wife. Kids are probably asleep. He's walking a little longer. He thinks, I'm probably going to wake him up. Because it was like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm really, I'm sure I'm going to wake him up. Gets a little closer. And he thinks, he's going to be mad. I wouldn't like to be woken up in the middle of the night. The guy's going to be irritated. Walks a little further. Gets to the bottom of the steps of the farmhouse. And he looks up, the light is on, sure enough. And all the windows are dark. And he says, he's going to be pissed. He's going to probably say I'm some sort of an idiot for not having my own jack. Takes up a couple steps, gets ready to knock on the door. And uh, his last thought before he knocks is, this guy's going to yell at me. He's going to yell at me. Knocks on the door, knock, 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 knock. Takes a little while, but finally the farmer comes to the door, opens the door. And the guy says, you can keep your damn jack. I've thought about that story a lot. Especially lately. I've been thinking about that a lot. We get all worked up about things. Um, just by our nature, I have noticed that we have a tendency as human beings to get worked up. There are people that know that. Studies of psychology, studiers of psychology. And I think when people take our natural tendency as human beings to get worked up and take advantage of that, that that's unfair. I think that's unfair. Uh, and unkind and inhumane. That's what I think. So there's there's a lot of what what I call right now, what I what my in my opinion right now there's a whole lot of preaching division under the guise of unity. And it's got to stop. It's, it's Well, you know, I say it's got to stop, but it, it probably isn't going to stop. It's just kind of the nature of people who manipulate psychology. So all we can really do is recognize it and, and uh, think that it's out there and see when we are being manipulated be it by uh, a stranger or a friend or the media or whoever. Um, or me. Maybe I'm doing it. Hell, I don't know. I don't think I am, but maybe I am. I don't think so. Um, so I'm going to leave you with this. If I told you that there were more GMC trucks on the road today than ever before, ever, what would you start seeing? Let's experiment. Did you know that? Did you know that there are more GMC trucks on the road today than ever before? Yeah, it's true. Absolutely true. And we have to do something about it. So what I'm saying is, now you're going to see more GMC trucks on the road today than ever before. In fact, they are red. There are more red GMC pickup trucks on the road right now than ever before. 
That's what you're going to start seeing. See if it doesn't work. Test me. See if it doesn't work and comment in here. Uh, and and you, you folks that, that have nothing better to do than hate on my channel, go for it. Hate. Hate with all the hate you've got. What a pitiable existence that is. Um, <clears throat> so my point being that now that you've heard there are more GMC pickup trucks, in fact, red ones on the road, that's what you are likely to start seeing. If I had said Toyota Tercel, if I'd said 69 Camaros, my gosh, have you seen all the 69 Camaros out there today? It's amazing. Now, if I've done that for your good, that's one thing. And I believe that's what pastors do. They will, they will bring things to your attention for your good so that you can beware of them, be aware of them, and do something about whatever this is, right? But if I was, if I owned a fleet of red GMC pickup trucks and I put that out there in the universe for you, that would be doing it for my own personal gain. I did a, uh, a video here a year ago or so about uh, you see what you expect. And I, I believe that. I believe that I don't, I don't see racism because I don't expect racism. Uh, now I'm gonna see more red GMC pickup trucks than ever before, but I don't see it because I don't expect it. However, I would be doing myself and you a disservice if I didn't call to our collective attention that there are those out there who benefit, remember that video, who benefits. Go look at that video again, because right now there are more people preaching division and hatred and racism under the guise of unity, I think, than ever before. Don't fall for it. People need each other. And this is not new, by the way. People have always needed each other, and there's always been people who are out there trying to put people against one another for their own personal gain. Case in point, there was a wonderful uh, play, musical, called South Pacific. See if I can get these words right. Um, you've got to be taught it's very clear. You've got to be taught from year to year. It's got to be drummed in your dear little ear. You've got to be carefully taught. You've got to be taught before it's too late, before you are six or seven or eight, to hate all the people your relatives hate. You've got to be carefully taught. That's not a new song. It's not a new idea, and it's certainly not a new lesson. There are people out there teaching hatred under the guise of unity. They're saying it's for your own good. You've got to know that this is out here. Believe me when I tell you, in my opinion, those are people who own fleets of red GMC pickup trucks who are just dying to sell them to you at a profit and what they are doing is manipulating your perception of reality. Communities are important. People are important. Black people, white people, yellow people, red people, people need people in order to survive, in order to thrive, and in order to dream. We live in the greatest country in the world, and it's under attack from within. We have met the enemy, and it is us. Another old saying. We must hold on to our country, and to our dreams, and to our community, and to ourselves now, more so than ever before. The current belief system that is being shoved down our throats and the throats of our children by people who will benefit from our division is nothing short of cancer. You can fight cancer. 
You can maintain a balance. They're not going to go away. We will always have opportunists. However, we don't have to fall for it. Love someone today. Appreciate someone today. Respect and admire someone today that you did not do any of those things to yesterday. That's how we fight it. That's how we beat it. Catch somebody doing an amazing thing, backing up a truck, laying asphalt down, digging a great post hole. It doesn't matter what it is, polishing a car and say, hey, man, you're doing an amazing job. I don't know how you do it like that. That's great. I applaud you. Try it. You want to see a smile? Admire someone today. That can be taught, too. I'm John Schneider. Thanks for being part of the conversation. I got to get to work. Bye.